listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. 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 The rumor report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The, the Breakfast, Breakfast Club. Club. Cardi B. When she was on Instagram Live, she was talking about people who were criticizing her, saying that she doesn't deserve to be in the position that she's in. And here's what she said. Is that a new, that don't sound like a new video. Yeah, that's a that's an old video. Of well, B. she's setting the story straight on what she what she meant by that because she is going to be writing a book about her life. Mm-hmm. I'm a rapper. I'm a bitch that came from the streets that came to the industry. I wasn't a Disney Channel star. I wasn't a nun. I wasn't a saint. I'm a good-hearted person, but I have done fucked up. Shit. And y'all don't got to worry about it. Y'all don't got to tell my story. Y'all want to know why y'all don't got to tell my story? Because I'm going to write a book about my life. I've been through a lot of shit. Yeah, you can use your past experiences as a teachable moment, but, you know, it just has to be presented properly. And I think that we probably should have read about that in her her book. That didn't sound right on IG Live. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure somebody pulled up that old clip, and, and it is absolutely positively foul, but... I would say one thing about Cardi B. I mean, we all know Cardi B in here. She is genuinely a good person. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, here's the thing. But, but Ca- it was foul. Yeah, Ca- it was. Cardi was a Grammy-ass NYC stripper. If you think these strippers weren't out here drugging men and robbing them, setting dudes up to be robbed, then you are bugging. Mm. You're out of your goddamn Doesn't mind. make it right. Well, don't make it doesn't right. Doesn't make it right at all. But, but, but if that's her story, that's if she her can story. use it as a teachable moment, do tell. But it has to be presented properly. Mm-hmm. Gotta read this book. All right, now there's some new allegations against Alex Rodriguez. There's a former Playboy playmate that is saying that he was sexting her and begging for a threesome right before he proposed to J Lo. According to model Zoe Gregory, she's 44 years old. She said that he sent her a picture of his uh, privates and had a text asking for the names of fun girls for me and for him. She said he was being a dirty dog. He seemed like a needy, horny bloke. If he is doing this right up until the point he is proposing to her, it is just not fair. Well, now, his name is not Alex Jenkins or Alex Jefferson. Therefore, he's not a black man. His last name is Rodriguez, so it's possible. That was like six to eight weeks before he proposed, so we don't know where they were in their relationship. <sighs> black men don't cheat. I don't know about A-Rod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know anything now, about this. Now, A-Rod also allegedly was giving her all kinds of compliments and asking for naughty videos and for a rendezvous with the third person in San Francisco. I don't believe this, Yeah, man. we don't know if I this be- is true. I believe when people see somebody happy the way A-Rod and J-Lo is happy, people just want to throw things out there. What proof does she have of this? Well, she has the she messages. has messages. But we don't, don't know. You, you can, can make, make a message. Absolutely, you that can make text messages. messages. Well, she has pictures of his penis and muscly thighs. How do you know that's his penis? penis? Have you seen you don't his penis, penis yet? Yeah. How do you know that's his penis? And his muscly thigh. I'm just telling you. How do you know that's his thigh? Y'all are asking for questions is that his for muscle? evidence. Is and that this is what she's saying she has. I don't know what that rod's thigh Now, she did say these messages began the day after Christmas, and they suddenly stopped in late January. Does his penis look like it's been suffering from some type of steroid use? Do you want us to show you the pictures? No, thank you. Okay, that's what it sounded like. I'm cool. I don't want to see A-Rod or no Rod. (laughs) All right, now Lonzo Ball looks like he might be leaving Big Baller brand for Nike. We told you before, well, I don't know if we talked about this story, but he did cut ties with one of the founders of Big Baller brand, one of the co-founders, Alan Foster, over the weekend. I thought his dad was the founder. Well, he has a co-founder, so Uh it wasn't just his dad by himself. Okay. Uh, He allegedly stole $1.5 million from him. And then later on, he posted a picture on Instagram, and he had the tagline, it's only a crazy dream until you do it. And then he said, moving on to bigger and better, hashtag my own man. So the rumor is he might be leaving and going on to Nike. Now, LeBron said, I love the fact that he's taking control of his ish. I mean, that's what's really dope to me. Once I saw that story, I had just seen a kid turning into a man. This is my career, and I'm taking this. I done had enough with whatever. I done had enough. If I'm going to be successful, I'm not going to be successful on my terms. I saw a lot of that. We'll see. So whatever people, he decides to do, he said Nike would obviously welcome him. Why do people think he's leaving Big Baller brand just because he fired somebody who was stealing from him, though? Well, I guess because he did the tagline from Nike mm. on Instagram and posted a photo and then said moving on to bigger and better. Probably did that just to scare everybody. Now, Alonzo's manager also took the Big Baller brand shoes and threw them in the trash. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. On social right. media, okay. along with the hashtag, dump your merch. All right. So, I still don't get it. Even if my dad owns a part of it, I'm just going to leave my dad's company. 
Um, we can't figure this out. My it, this is my dad does own the company. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't think he was leaving Nike until you told me to think about the trash can. I mean, leaving Big Baller Man until you told me to think about the trash can. But I'm with you. Just because you fire somebody don't mean that you should dump your company altogether. It's just some hints right now. So people are thinking that perhaps this might be happening. You know, mm-hmm. he might be moving on. All right. I'm Angela Yee. And that's your rumor report.